Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Romantic where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to charge refrigerant into a system using a scale. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jump Romantic. So we have the system in a vacuum right now. It has held an overnight vacuum. So we know that we have no leaks. And now we are assured that we can charge the system with refrigerant. This system uses refrigerant 410A. And I'm gonna show you how to charge the system using a refrigerant scale. The system had a faulty control board. There was actually a short in here, which kept causing the breaker to trip. So what I did actually was recreate this panel off the top of my head and i'm just going to give you a little inside look on this if you haven't watched my previous video i'm going to leave a link in the description and a pop-up will appear any moment where i actually gutted out all the controls and reinvented and engineered my own control panel for the system to work So here we have our transformer. Down here we have two capacitors. I have a capacitor back there with a contactor. And just a little update. Down there below, we actually have a second contactor. In the last video you see when I was testing the evaporator fan motor, we had a buzzing sound. So I replaced it with a contactor below. And I also wired in the low pressure control. So everything's good to go. Just wanted you guys to see this. This was quite the job. So let's focus on today's video. And the first thing we're gonna wanna know is how much refrigerant does this system actually take? We're always gonna wanna look for a nameplate where you would find the model and serial number. And within that information, you're gonna find out how much refrigerant is actually in the system. This is a self-contained unit. So these are perfect to charge by weight because there is an exact amount of refrigerant in here and it is stated on the sticker. So if we look here, it might be hard to see through the video, but we have refrigerant R410A and we have 44.4 ounces. So that's how much refrigerant we're gonna wanna take from this tank and put into this system. Here we have the field piece refrigerant scale. This is the SRS1 refrigerant scale with alarm. Conveniently has a magnet in the back and it works off a nine volt battery. This is a self-contained system. And here we have a piercing valve installed as these don't come with any ports to access the refrigerant. I actually did make a video on how to install these, so you should definitely check that out. I'll also be leaving a link in the description and you will see a pop-up at any moment on how to actually install this. So right now, we only have the low side connected to the system and that's the side you're gonna wanna charge the refrigerant with. So the reason that they don't allow it on the high side to have a high side port is because it's this is refrigerant 410A and it's not recommended. If this was a R22 system, you know, you would be okay. If it was a refrigerant uh, refrigeration system, then you would be all right. You know, if it was 134A or 404, but in this case, we can only have one port. So we have the system in a vacuum. Because this is a capillary system. It is all right to pull a vacuum just from one side. Everything is open and you are good. So we're gonna attach our middle hose, which is the yellow one, to our tank. We're gonna open up the tank and we're gonna place this on the scale before charging any refrigerant into any system, you're gonna to wanna to purge the air out of the hose. Right there, a little bit of refrigerant shut out. And right there, there's no more air in the hose so we don't contaminate the system. We're gonna turn this on. So it says that we have a weight where we're gonna do is zero this out. 
clicking the bottom right. Everything is zeroed out. So now when we allow refrigerant to enter the system, it's gonna show us exactly how much is actually going in. So right now we have this set to pounds and ounces. This is a very small unit and we know we need 44.4 ounces. So we're gonna change the units just to ounces. So right there, 0, 0.00 ounces. All right, so we only have one hose connected which is our low side hose. So we're gonna break the vacuum by opening our valve. So right now, you see the pressure went up and we're putting refrigerant into the system. 3.75 ounces and we're gonna watch this until we reach the proper amount. Things like this, you might wanna start the unit at a certain point where this might not be able to take more if it's going super slow and you might be impatient or it just can't take any more. You're gonna to wanna to start the compressor and then add the remaining refrigerant. So we're just gonna watch this up and see how far it goes. We just reached 14 ounces. All right, we're almost there. I just stopped it just to be a little precise. Open it a little, 44 ounces, it's at 44.4, so let's open this up a little more. Right there, 44.5 ounces, and we basically have a perfect charge into this system. As you can see, this is such a handy, handy tool to have, especially for self-contained units or package units, whatever you might wanna call it. These are perfect, especially for small units like this where the charge is critical. This is your solution for a perfect charge every single time. All right, so here's our thermostat. And I just wanna show everybody who's curious from the last video how we don't have that buzzing sound coming from the panel anymore for our evaporator fan. So we're just gonna switch this to on. Had a little click, but that was the contact they're engaged. Nice and smooth. So put that back to auto and we're just gonna test our work. So let's put the system to cool. Drop the stat. All right, it's been a good 10 minutes of cycling this refrigerant. We've got a good 51 degrees. Pressure looks pretty good. Ready to roll. Just turn the system off. Oh, that suction line is sweating, all right. That's exactly what I like to see. So, if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.